what, what? This is Air Marshal Paraviar, and today, for Queen and Country, we shall be looking at War Thunder. Hello. I don't know what that voice was at the end. Didn't quite sound like a British military marshal. But anyway, today we're going to be looking at War Thunder for the HTC Vive. Now, this game has ground battles with tanks and also with aircraft. And I'm quite new to this, I'll admit it. So I'm literally just going to fumble my way through, get into game, and give you my thoughts and feelings on the game, what it's like in the HTC Vive. And we'll talk about graphics, sound, immersion, gameplay, and all the usual stuff. So... I'm going to split the video up into two parts. The first one we're going to do arcade air battle. And the second one we're going to go for one of the tanks. Maybe may, may go for realistic, I'm not sure. As there are a lot of aircraft and tanks I can't show you because I haven't ranked up. So let's jump in and have a look at the aircraft. So here we are at the main portal or the main area actually, actually come in. And there's a lot of stuff on here. I will be honest, I haven't got a clue what all this stuff is. So, really, all we want to know is, how do we get in? How do we fly? How do we shoot? How do we get into the meat and bones of this game? Well, obviously, there's a button at the top that says to battle with a drop-down box for the different modes. And we can use our real mouse. As you can see, these are the different options. Arcade, tank battles, so forth, so forth. And you may notice as well on the video that it's side-by-side. -side. Obviously, in the headset, perfectly good VR. For some reason that's the only way you can display it on your desktop in order to be able to record so let's just click battle now the way the game works is we move the mouse in arcade and that's where the aircraft flies i originally did try this with a 360 pad but it actually does feel a little bit more comfortable with the mouse and keyboard but to show you that it does work this first part i'm actually going to use the 360 pad so here we are we're at the loading screen Let's jump in. A little bit of a brief, I think. I think we're here. We've got to just destroy the ground vehicles. I don't know where they are. I can't actually see them on the map. Let's just what this all this down here. Invites. Messages. Right. So how do we actually get in? And it looks like quite nice from there. It looks like almost like I'm in a hot air balloon. It would be amazing if you had an RTS game where you're in a hot air balloon like this. You know, real military vehicles. Yes, move the troops forward, east, west. But anyway, that's an idea for somebody out there anyway. So let's let's just jump in and see what we think of War Thunder. Right, now I'm told if I press the V key, be in the aircraft. Now that is quite nice. I'll be honest with you. That feels really quite nice. And the frame rate feels as though it's silky smooth. Yeah, ground textures feel quite good. Um... As with all things on the Vive, we need to get used to the resolution. You know, it, it is low res, I'm not going to lie to you. But the actual aircraft around me feels quite... Whoa, 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 that feels a little bit strange. Feels a little bit spongy, dare I say, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so the way we move the aircraft is I move the mouse and the aircraft points there. And, whoa, that's a little bit quick. And I'm using the WASD keys to go left and right. Or you can use the thumbstick on the 360 pad left and right for banking. So, just seeing how smooth it actually feels coming down here. It, the frame rate is really quite good because usually as you get towards the ground, such as on DCS World, the frame rate takes a dump. But that is really, really quite nice actually. Yeah, the graphics are never going to win awards for the ground textures, but I suppose got to remember this game is free so you really shouldn't complain and that actually feels whoa 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 right so we've got AA I need to get out of here this actually feels quite nice I think what we'll do is I'll come round get some height we'll come down and there's actually a crosshair on the front of the propeller there the rounds go through the propellers very clever stuff and then there's actually a telescopic sight on the right of that as well not quite sure how useful that is going to be at this stage. Look at that. That's an enemy playing, by the way, in red and wearing blue. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get some height. Let's get some height here. Yeah. Now, audio-wise, I'm quite impressed. I can hear the, the engine spluttering slightly. It looks like I'm probably over-revving it here. I'm going too high. 
course, with this being an arcade, it's going to uh, allow us to get away with a lot, I think. Of course, we can look directly behind us. Yeah, so the sound is really quite good. I'm actually running this in 7.1 with a 7.1 pair of headphones. And there is an option for that when you first boot the game up. So, yeah, audio is very nice. Let's just see come down here. I can't actually see the object that I'm shooting at and whether that comes with experience whoa, 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 whoa whether that comes with experience I'm not sure. There is that, that actual sight on the front there. I may just come back round and see if we can use that find a target and then what I might do is we'll see if we can take out an aircraft become a proper combat pilot No idea whether I was actually hitting anything there at all. So you can see I'm being a bit of a stump man here, getting my wing right down towards the ground. Feels really good. I've got this running on Ultra with a 980 Ti and it's absolutely silky smooth. There's, there's no juddering, there's no stuttering or anything. I'm just going to see if I can take out one of these aircrafts. Whoa, I'm getting shot at. Where did that come from? Right, I'm obviously getting shot from behind here. Yes, and I was killed. Right, so let me... I need to get a kill, at least an aircraft kill or a ground vehicle kill for the video. Otherwise, I'm just going to look like a complete and utter noob. So, right, so now we're in business. All these things in this menu, I have got absolutely no idea what any of this stuff does, apart from changing the range on the site. I think what we'll do is we'll try and use that site... A little bit more on the aircraft and see if that actually helps us. I don't know what all this stuff does. Default. 30 meters disabled. That's what we got. Let's just get back in. Right, we're in business now. Come on. Battle of Britain. White Cliffs of Dover. Fuck the EU. Let's get this done. Right. V key. Oops. Just as me had said. V. Right. Destroy the ground vehicles. Now there are different times of day. I'm told if I get in a little bit closer, actually, on this, I can see through that sight. But my God, it just shows you the skill that these pilots had during that era. Really, you know, no elect electronic gadgets to help them with auto aim and all that. Right, if I see through there, that looks like I'm pointing at the red dot, even though I can't see what I'm looking at through the actual sight here. I just see the trees. I can't actually see the ground object. Why can't I see the ground object? Am I doing something wrong here? Let's just bank round so we can find another one. Let's keep the pressure on! Victory is close! Yeah, I know it's telling me it's not going to hit it at that range, but I just want to see whether the actual rounds are going. It's quite hard to see what I'm actually shooting there. Did I even get that one? No idea. Absolutely no idea. So I think we'll, we'll probably come round, see if we can take an aircraft out. So really, guys, I, I'm absolutely... Um, I, I should I say, I'm quite impressed with this, actually. There's just ever, ever so slight motion sickness as you bank in left and right but I do mean minimum games such as uh, that toy pilot toy toy was it toys VR pilot that that game that that made me feel motion sick really really quite quickly project cars is not so bad once you get your VR legs up and running but this I think if you've got a joystick and you can bank slowly left and right and treat it like a real aircraft this would be really really good no way of getting around the resolution aspect. It's just part of the technology at the minute. I'm just trying to lean in and see if I can see more in that site. It's just part of the technology. We're just going to have to deal with it. But but so far, this is is very, very playable. I'm quite surprised to say that this is a free-to-play game. Audio's really good. Obviously, I've got very minimal aircraft here. 
mission accomplished. And it just works with the HTC Vive. So it was until a few weeks ago that you had to download Revive. You don't need to do that now. Just download it on Steam. It's free. And one little tip that you want to do, a few people have had troubles with it. Right click once you've downloaded it. And make sure that you untick run in Steam Theatre. And that way the game will work. Once you've done that, boot the game up as normal, but not in VR mode. Go into the options, and you'll see there's a button for Oculus mode. Click that, restart the game, and that's it. It will automatically boot up Steam VR for you. And you can enjoy becoming a combat pilot. I really, really would like to do the realistic mission ones, especially the bombers, where there's three or four players on one aircraft. That, I think, would be amazing. Because you're going to get less of this banking left and right, and this less less of a motion sickness arcadey feel so hopefully i think i have to rank up and get the, get to the, that point for the aircraft but that's something i really really want to do so if i can get to that point i will do it but in the meantime i've been para players and this has been war thunder arcade aircraft in the next video we'll have a look at the tanks so far really enjoy it thumbs up guys give it a go if you've got the vibe it's free why not and it's really enjoyable thanks for watching i'll see you in another video Coming real soon. Tell it ho, what, what? Fuck the EU!